Hi, well I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go straight to showing you, let me go back to importing a survey. So let's just go over to my screen and go into um, today's copy and let's share our screen. And let's just go back to revisiting so that we can get eventually the matrix coding running. So all we have to do to bring in our data set remember from today we made all these sorts of boxes in our internals and one of them I said let's make a demographic information one so that you can bring your data set straight in from if you're doing mixed method so let's start with just bringing a data set in from your survey that you've already put into Excel you go up to the top ribbon you press data set and the data wizard chart will come up you browse you browse to your file where you have your Excel.xls file, which we had today called Demographic Information for the Workshop, and we open it. We then continue to let the data wizard do its job. So you go next, and you can see exactly what's coming up here. You can see that all of those participants had school, the age, and the gender coming up, that's the way it should look, yes. Don't worry about configuring it to decimal symbols, etc. Just keep it all as is appearing in the front screen. Go next, it is then highlighting that these are all going to be in text and that's exactly, and the field name that it's going to appear under is participant, which is fine. Say next, it's going to come up as sheet one and finish. So then you can see that these are all the details and I opened up my demographic information folder straight away and it was it came straight into that container which is exactly what we wanted it to do so as you can see um, we've now done importing the survey and that's on 20 page 20 of and to 21 of your uh, workbooks let's now go on to where the, we were trying to create the case notes. Now remember the case notes, this is a difficult one because a lot of people get confused with it even in all workshops when we're getting a little bit, uh, uh, that we've consumed a lot of information and we're getting a bit tired. But um, it's important from the interviews that you create a case, case note about each one of the interviewees or the focus group interviewees. Once you've created the case, you can then add the demographic information through classification sheets, which we'll do next. We'll follow this exactly. And this um, needs to then identify your participants and their actual characteristics. And then you can go on and run matrix coding. So let's go and open up our sources now. And you can see that we've got our sources folder sitting here. Let's open up interviews. And you can see that we've got all our interviews as we've already imported it, which we did successfully this morning. Again, I'm going to have to copy from the top down to the bottom. And this is the beautiful function now of this particular version. We don't do it, as I said, one at a time. So we've copied all our interviews, which is all, as you can see, 19 um, participants. Click, right click, and then all you have to do then is go down to this little drop down called create as, and this is what we did today, but we're going to create them as create as cases down here. And as you can see, a location called cases appears here. Now, today I got onto QSR and I've said take this alignment out here we, and leave it as none. We don't need to drop down. That's what we were trying to do today. I've gone into uh, the IT and asked them to take that away. So leave that as a drop down to none. We don't want it to go anywhere. We just want to uh, really give the computer something to attach the interview information to. And then simply press, press OK. And once you find, you say that, you can find what you've just created as case nodes. If you go over back to the left-hand part of this screen and press nodes, and here on the left-hand side, 
you'll see that we've created a case. In other words, we've given it a mirror image. All your interviews have a mirror image. And we know it's done it correctly because it's said um, one source and one reference. And that means it's now recognising all the interviews that are in the internals to the case. So the nodes can all interrelate and then run as they should. Now that's not the only thing that we need to do. So, so far I've shown you how to bring in interviews and the demographic information so that it's the sheet sitting there so you can just go back and have a look at your data. But now, then we go on to give a case node and it comes in under cases, as you can see here. Now, the next thing we've got to do is go up to the top ribbon again and press classification sheets. Now once we press classification sheets, and this will be from page 24 through to and including 27 in your workbooks, we now need to go to um, browse. And when we do that, we will see that um, you can pick up browse and now we need to go back and pick up the demographic sheet again, which is sitting in your file, um, in USB or on your desktop. But here we've, I've, I'm just going straight to that USB stick with all the resources that I had. Click it and then open. Now, keep going because the, the import classification sheet is going to need to keep on um, gathering information from you. You don't need file encoding or text qualifier, so you just pre press next. Now, this is important, and this is the step that we were, and again, I got on to QSR to modify this tonight. You need to go to the classification type, press down, and select case node. I'll do that again. We were actually confusing it and I've actually got that we need to put in case classification which links it back to the cases now sitting underneath the nodes. You don't, you need to create, you don't need to really um, create new attributes but you can tick that and simply go next and then it's saying do you want to do different names? We just want to keep it as hierarchical names as it should be and um, go next. Now, we do have a drop down where we can actually tell it whether we want to put in unassigned or none uh, or not applicable or none. But I just leave it in there just in case there's a gap in my data collection and I don't get all the information. I then go finish. And once I do finish, you will see that participant will glow up and the sheet's sitting there. And if we go over to classification, which is now a box, come back over to the left-hand side, press classifications. Don't go to source classifications because that's where your bibliography information is coming into. Go to case classifications. And here is the participant and that demographic sheet sitting right there. Now, some of you are asking me, but how can I see how many are in each one? So you just simply go down to any of these variables, school for example, and visualize and chart by the attribute. And now you can now see that it's running so that it tells me how many are in each school. You can now go over and summarise and see how many are in each category. So once we've done all that, we can then go to queries and we went through, I think it was quite um, evident how we went to the query, query wizard and we run uh, the word cloud today. But let's just go straight and create if we can, up to the query tab, up the top, press matrix coding. Now, this is where we all were 
sitting today and we were wondering why it wasn't bringing in certain attributes. Well, let's go through this now that we've correctly set up everything. So let's go now to um, matrix coding and let's now go in and have a look at how we can do a matrix code. And your matrix coding will appear on pages 45 through to and including um, 48. Now, once we get there, we're going to now need to have a look at, remember we were talking about rows, columns. I always add it to projects so that, I, I run quite a few and then I add what I, I need to, to projects. So if we're going to pick up some nodes about the athletes on bullying, perhaps we, and duality, perhaps we could talk about the issues athletes cope with. And I'll just, so athletes. And, and the important thing is once you name one of the matrix coding, it has to have a unique name next time. It can't be the same. So I normally would say uh, issues athletes cope with number one and so forth so that it, it goes and it's a different name each time. Now, once we've named it, we can go um, into the matrix coding criteria. And here we've got rows and columns. Rows, and we're gonna run the rows against the columns. So let's select rows. Let's go down and select the items that we want to run. So let's press select. And then what we're going to do is select nodes. And remember, I I'm just sitting on that first front page. I'm going to select the issues, could be bullying, it could be coping strategies and duality. I, I'll just pick on those ones at the moment. And maybe um, school struggles because that seems all right too. And go, okay. Now, it's, got, it's blank there because remember, it's important to add to list. So click add to list. Next, go columns and go down to select. And when we get down to... Um, the next part with the columns, you'll need to now identify it back to the cases, which is sitting underneath the nodes, and you need to go into the case classifications here, right down here. So go scroll all the way down and come to case classifications. Now sitting now in case classifications is our participant, which is our classification sheet expand it and as you were saying today but I want to see um, let's see gender expand that and do females and tick males all right so I'm bringing in attributes now for it to run with so let's go okay add to list and then let's go okay now I've actually um, save this into the query folder so because by clicking OK I permanently have there so let's now go run the query and now it's coming up with our matrix and you can see that it's actually um, now sorry issues athletes cope with run the query and now it's coming up with our matrix again it's if you right click anywhere, like I was saying today, I cell shade to see what's important that's coming up. And you can see that I can get um, different cell shading. I can go blue, white, and I can see that it's dominant here, that here now I can see that the gender is female and three are saying so far, because I've only coded that many, that they got bullied, but none of the males said anything. If I chart it, you now will see that it's female and male running against all the issues that they're having in reference to issues that they're running. So now you can see that it's giving me much more clearer data. So you can right click and you can um, open any of that live data to see what's going on there. 
So that is now telling me a lot more about my data and it's starting to indicate to me that when it comes to bullying, all the females so far that I've coded said something, but the males said nothing. So that's just an example of taking it right through to matrix coding. Oh, thank you. I'll send this to you now. I'm going to stop sharing and